Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share John 21, 12 to 17. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. None of the disciples ventured to question him, who are you? Knowing that it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and the fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus was manifested to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. So when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, tend my lambs. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, shepherd my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, tend my sheep. John 21, 12 to 17. Here's my devotional. Do you really love me? In this account, Jesus visits his disciples for the third time after his resurrection and had breakfast with them that day. After they had finished eating, he asked Simon Peter the question, Do you love me? Three times. Why did Jesus ask Peter several times? It was also three times that Peter denied Jesus when he was questioned by the Jews. If he was a disciple of Jesus, in verse 15, Jesus' first question was comparing Peter's love for him in comparison to what he used to do, which was fishing. It was a question of priority. A far paraphrase of that question would have been, do you love me above all compared to what you do and all the other things and people you love? It was a loaded question that addresses what is really in Peter's heart when he easily answered that he loved him. Jesus had a condition after the first question, tend my lambs. In other words, Jesus was requiring Peter to look after those who are his followers. Following Jesus requires commitment and endurance. We all know that as long as we live in this world, we will have many things that can pose as idols that will compete with the love that we actually profess. Love requires commitment and faithfulness. It is not enough to say that we love the Lord. We need to prioritize Him and make Him first in every aspect of our being. The cost of being a disciple of Jesus is high. It needs giving up of all the things we love in this world and a willingness for Christ, to suffer for Christ. If we are true Christians, we are really able to are if we are true Christians are we really able to make Jesus our Lord and Master will we give up our lives for him and for his people reflection why is it so easy to say I love you and not really recognize the cost of such act <clears throat> we are humans and humans tend to um, boast we tend to boast we tend to um, say things that we don't really mean and uh, that is not that, that that is not something that we do when we declare that we love the Lord so like for example a husband and wife you know most of the time your husband married you because he loves you but if that love is not followed through by actions, by profession, but by commitment, by by spending quality time with you, how would you feel? It it wouldn't be the same. It means like he doesn't really mean what he he actually said. So saying is one thing, and doing and really persevering to be there for that person is another thing. So in this. In this uh, gospel um, <clears throat> account of John, uh, John is known for um, being the disciple whom Jesus loved. 
So he was given all the uh, all the revelations about what really love is, um, and compared to the other gospels. John's gospel focuses on love. It focuses on how Jesus wants us to love him and how he wants us to love others as we love him. So I encourage you, don't just say you love someone or you love the Lord. Make it manifest in your actions. Make it manifest in following his commands. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. God loves you and so do I.